Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can make some pretty basic updates to your web page, any pages on your WordPress website built using the Divi Builder. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Before we get into the actual editor to show you how you can make these updates, there's a few different ways you can find your pages. The first one is, I always say to people, if you're not sure how to navigate through WordPress, you can go into pages and find a page that way. But I always like to simply go up to the website itself by clicking at the top. And once that home page, once that page is loaded, you can find this, the page that you want to edit and then simply go up the top to edit page. So if I want to edit my home page here, which has a little bit of basic information, I can simply go up the top to edit page, or I can go to enable visual builder. If I click on edit page, I'm actually met with this. Now, what happens is sometimes people go return to default editor or vice versa and they can actually sort of remove the design accidentally so what you want to make sure you do if you do hit edit page is actually hit this edit with divi builder button and that will actually take you back to the visual builder if you go that way around otherwise you can simply hit that enable visual builder that was at the top there it now says exit visual builder because i'm using it um every now and then you get a funny situation where it reloads but um yeah, basically you can just simply find that page, click Enable Visual Builder and go from there. But if you do happen to hit Edit Page, you just simply click that button to end up pretty much in the same spot. So yeah, to, in order to get started, just yeah, find your page. So click up top and head to your website, find your page and click Enable Visual Builder at the top. All right, so the way this works, so this is just a website I have and I've got uh, some sections here. One's for desktop, one is hidden and it shows up when I'm on a phone. Uh, I've got some bit of text, some imagery, and it's all pretty straightforward. So the way that the builder works is first I'm gonna just talk about how things are laid out so you get an understanding. Um, I won't start at the top here, but I will come down to here. So I've got this little section here. You see I've got, if I hover over this, I get this little blue row. You can see a blue border around the box. That means it's actually a row on the page. So the way that this works you know, on your page is with Divi, you insert rows and then you can insert columns into them so rows are horizontal columns are vertical so with rows i insert that row and it's a row on the page and i've got these two green areas that are column or sort of like a column areas within that row so you can see here i've got a full width just one solid column if i click down to here and click this column area here i've got uh like kind of like 33 percent 66 percent so two columns here so what happens then is within those columns you insert modules so this is the gray area so to give you an idea it's a little bit there's a little bit to learn here but you do sort of eventually head around it the blue area blue is for your row within that as you can see here with inside that the green is your columns and the gray is actually the modules which has the content that you want to edit now the reason i want to skip the section above is you'll notice that this area has a purple border around it because it's basically what they call a full width row everything uh, all the elements as you can see here i've got this gray module inside of it it is all the full width of the page which i don't recommend for text because text gets too wide it's difficult to read which is why if i scroll down i've got it confined to an area here okay so we've got down that you're going to be looking at rows columns within the rows and then actual modules within those columns so to start off nice and easy we're going to look at text so i have a text module here already written out if i want to if i hover over it i get this little gray box and i can actually click on the cog and get a little editor over here on the left or it may even simply pop up over the screen and you can move it around just like this now maybe i want to change some of this information it's pretty straightforward so uh, i can say i've got here i also happen to be a graphic designer i, I can just change that to I am a graphic graph designer and web designer. Maybe I say uh, professional. So I've got that one line edited. And if I'm happy with it, I click my tick button here. And that's it. I've edited that text. There's more than one way to edit the text though. But that is the probably the safest way to do it. The next way you can do it is actually to just simply click on the text and start typing away there. However, it is a little buggy. Every now and then you'll be typing and the cursor will move or uh, you know, you'll get a few funny issues. So I pretty much always prefer to hover over and get the box. If you've actually clicked on the text and you're not being able to get that box, click off onto something else and then hover over it again 
and you'll see you get your little gray box here so you can click on your second little cog symbol and you can edit in there and if you make an edit you don't want to keep click the X and close that down so tick to save X to cancel so that's how you make basic text edits on your uh, basically on your page now the next thing is if you want to say play with links or anything within that if I just click on this cog again it's the same as the old um, editor on WordPress I might need to enlarge this a little bit but you can click on this and once you've sort of clicked in there scroll up and you can click the link button here the little chain button and you see I've got a link here I can change so you can change your links uh, change what text is sort of displayed in that link click OK and uh, do that and as usual you've got your other options so if I highlight this here I can make it italics I can make it bold and that sort of thing I can add in dot points which you can see it happening live over here as well right align left align all the usual formatting options are there something worth having just a quick play with but you, you sort of get the idea there let's X out of that so some of the other things you might want to change are maybe you want to change images or buttons uh, you can change the size of text fonts that sort of thing so if I want to change this text up here I click on the cog again if I'm not happy see this text is larger because if you click on it it's actually heading two now if I drop click this drop down here we've got a few things we've got paragraph heading one heading two heading three now this text down here that is smaller is in paragraph but this larger text is actually a heading two and you pretty much want to save heading one for your main heading which is this here because that's sort of like the title of your page but heading two is sort of where you want your next sort of hierarchy of headings to work so if I want to change anything about the font on this I go to the design tab here I've got heading text and I've got heading one heading two heading three I click on heading two and I can edit all these options here I can change the font to something completely different make it look however I want to I can scroll down I can make it different I can make a bold or I can make it regular I can make it right aligned left aligned although it's actually not doing that because I've actually got centered in the editor here so if I just make that left aligned I can do that there anyway so go back to design heading text heading two. I can change the color underneath so a red yellow green and the size I can make it as big or as small as I want including letter spacing so you get all these options here you can simply play with them and if you decide you don't want to keep any of those changes like I said hit X or if you do want to keep them hit the tick button I don't want to keep these because I think that looks <laughs> it doesn't look very good at all so I'm gonna click X so that's how you can edit text change color and different sort of like uh, fonts with the text but what happens if I want to change this image so once again I've hovered over and I've got the gray box again so I can click on the cog on this gray box and you see I've got my image here if I click on that image I can access my media library to change it to whatever other image I want which is there's not a lot of images on this site and change it to a backpack if I want to if you want to upload images you can go to upload files here and click that and you'll be able to upload a file and it will sort of take you back to this page and you'll see it uploading in the top left hand corner so if I click that here you'll notice that changes to a picture of a bag and once again I tick to save or I X to cancel so that's pretty much it that's how that works uh, same with your images here if you've got buttons once again you hover over that this is a button module so we've got text module image module button module I hover over again hit the cog I can change the button text to learn more now I can also change the link if I go to link I can insert the URL here and save that I can open it in a new window you can see the options have become pretty apparent once you start doing this now the next most difficult thing is if you want to start adding different uh, modules to the page we've covered pretty much most of the things you would do if you were doing basic edits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a bit of text here so I'm going to click wherever I want to go you'll see I get a little plus button now I can add more columns so it's the same sort of situation I want to add another row if I hover over the row where I get the blue border I can come down hit this blue plus to add another row or if I want to add another set of columns I hover over that and I can come down to this green plus to add a column and if I do that it gives me the option of how many columns I want to add but I won't go into that now although actually no I will go into that now so we'll go say two columns and I want to add in an image again 
So this is going to pop up automatically. We're going to say click image. I'm just going to keep that image for now. And then I can add another image underneath by hovering over that image and clicking the gray plus button. Add a button, call it whatever I want to. Go, add a link. And then I can add some text on the right here by clicking this plus button, scrolling down to text. And if you don't want to do any scrolling, you can simply type in text and your text module will pop up. And it'll come in with some dummy text. You just simply highlight that and start typing. Hi, my name is Joe. Welcome. And then you can go through, do your formatting, make this header two. And you can see here you start to get the pieces sort of coming together. And then of course, I don't want to keep this row, so I'm going to hover over it and click the trash can button. Same thing again, if I want to get rid of anything over here, I can hit the trash can button by hovering over the gray, that will remove the module. Green, trash can button will remove the columns. Blue, trash can button will remove the row. So that's pretty much how you make basic edits on the page. There are other little things in there, such as uh, you can change some of the spacing. For instance, if I hover over this section here near the top, you'll see this light up. I can actually make that spacing taller and um, go from there. Now, obviously, I can show you how to build pages from scratch, but it's going to be a little bit more involved. So I'm not going to get that far into it. But uh, what you do need to do when you're ready is actually save it. You can simply hit exit and it'll prompt you and ask you if you want to save. But if you want to save as you're going, you want to come down here to this little purple circle down the bottom, click on that. There's a few options here that we're, we won't go into now because it's just a little bit too much. But when you're ready to save, down the bottom right here, click save. If you haven't published a page and you're editing it, you'll get the option to save a draft or publish. But um, we haven't got that here because this page is already published. You'll see that wheel turning, it's now been saved. I can now go to Exit Visual Builder. Now the only change I've actually kept is the uh, line here which says I am a professional web designer and graphic designer. And you can see that's saved and updated. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can edit basic, make basic changes to a web page built in Divi on WordPress. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of thing, uh, this kind of video, uh, please uh, leave a like on the video. Also, if you want more like this, consider subscribing as I will be doing more videos on the Divi theme, showing you how to do more with it, um, how to create certain page types and things like that. All that stuff is coming very soon. So uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any requests, leave a comment below and um, I hope to talk to you again soon. See you later.